Obwohl der kleine Inselstaat Tuvalu stark in seiner Existenz vom Klimawandel bedroht ist, wollen weder Regierungen noch Bevölkerungen daran denken, ihre Heimat aufzugeben. Sie fordern die Weltgemeinschaft auf, ihre im Pariser Klimavertrag gemachten Versprechen auch einzuhalten. We want to save Tuvalu and we are urging the, the world to, uh, to uh, get actions on the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. And this is, uh, we believe we can do, we can save Tuvalu and save small islands if the whole world you know, work uh, collectively and as a, as a community of nations to work on reducing greenhouse gases and uh, uh, you know, keeping it down to the targets of 1.5 degrees uh, Celsius above you know, pre-industrial period. We need to achieve that in the, in the short, shortest time possible and the Paris Agreement is very strong on that. <laughs> We are not refugees, and we will not be refugees. We won't be leaving our shores. And therefore, I think as responsible uh, leaders in this area of the world, they should really come to the sense of mind and, 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 and to help us to continue to live in our homeland. You know, because this is our land, and God-given land. Of course, we are used to claim, and a lot of us Tuvaluans claim that God promised Noah there will be no more flood. But the way things are happening right now, it, the sea is rising, and indefinitely is rising. It's like a paradise. It's really silent. You can feel the breeze so fresh air. Early morning, if you wake up, everything is so pure.